the worst part about starting a new character in ESO? Your mount speed is awful. The best way to remedy it? The PvP skill trees. If you hate PvP, you can still do this. No actual PvPing is required. When you hit level 10, hop into one of the campaigns and pick up the zone quest, doing every step. Definitely do not talk to the Grand Warlord or you will skip the whole quest and all of the Alliance points or AP that comes with it. AP is a specific type of currency that you only get in PvP zones. You can't use Way Shrines to travel into Cyrodiil or within Cyrodiil. So this quest will start by having you use the Transitus Shrines to travel to your other Alliance base and then travel back. The tutorial then takes you to the Siege Firing Range, first having you use each of the three types of Siege weapons. The next piece of the tutorial is how to use a Siege Repair Kit, which you assign and access in your slottable wheel and use when you're standing next to the Siege weapons. You'll then go to the nearby scroll keep to talk to someone else and head back to town to finally talk to that Gram Warlord you avoided. You finish the quest by talking to the NPCs next to the daily quest boards who explain each type of daily offered. When you complete the quest, you end up with enough AP to reach rank three of the assault skill line. And at this point, you should grab the continuous attack passive now riding your mount won't feel so tragic with this permanent 30% speed buff. Thanks for watching, and if you like this video, don't forget to like and hit subscribe.